A few weeks ago, you may have seen this video by Sean Spen. It showcased a prison, one-upping the famous prison of the Dream SMP called Pandora's Vault. In Sven's video, he says how Pandora's Vault could be beaten in a few different ways, and that he had built a better prison. This prison was named Poseidon's Vault, and it was proclaimed inescapable. And to many, it truly seemed inescapable. You see, Sven had covered for seemingly every aspect of an escape. Killing the guard to get out, killing yourself to get out, using an enderpearl stasis chamber to get out, building a nether portal and escaping through the nether, using chorus fruit, breaking your way out of it with your fist, and sneaking your way out. But out of everything that Sven had covered, there is one thing he didn't account for. Me. Poseidon's Vault. It's a mammoth of a task. For the prisoner to escape, but also for Sven to have built, the entire thing is surrounded by a nine block thick wall of obsidian, lava, and water, making breaking in or out nearly impossible. The only way in is through the main gate, or should I say, the main portal. It's controlled by the guard. When it turns on, you go through, and then you go through it once again to get to the main lobby area. Here you have to put your items in a shulker box and send it deep into the prison. Then you must be killed to make sure that you didn't hide any items, and if you did, they will be given to the main guard through a hopper system. Once you're clear, the main guard will send over a flying machine to take you over to him. He will then lock you in a second bedroom, kill you once again, and then you go through this long tunnel, to which you sleep in another bed, and then once you leave the bed, you're in the cell. prison isn't called escapable for nothing. It is extremely protected. There are so many measures taken to make sure that the prisoner has no chance of escaping. For instance, the walls are made from infinitely regenerating cobblestone, so even if you manage to break one with your fist, it will be replaced within one second. Oh yeah, and there's elder guardians in the walls, which gives you mining fatigue 3, and you're underwater. There's a nearby conduit so that you don't drown. All of this adds up, and in the end, it'll take you four hours to mine one block of cobblestone. And if you manage to break one cobblestone, even even if it gets replaced back, one to four guards will be immediately teleported to the guard room just outside of the cell. A chat message will read that the prisoner is escaping, and a note block alarm will go off. And on top of this, if the guard wants to kill you remotely, they can just turn off the conduit with the flip of a switch. Not only this, but the guards can, for one second, glitch through the floor to see what the prisoner is doing. And this is just the main control room. There's another one which can be accessed by a secret key card of which can only be signed by the guard and can't have any changed tags. That will take you to a room where you have double chests full of gear and armor and an armor plus potion equipped stations. With all of this, you would think that it would be nigh impossible to escape this prison or that it would take a small army to fight their way in to get you out. But what if I told you that I found a way to get out alone? Yes, it's true that you could use a visitor to break you out of this vast prison. Probably every other solution to breaking out of this place uses one, and I do admit that there are some very good ways that a visitor could break you out, such as the visitor can just pearl to the guard door, block clutch, and then break the glass and walk slash pearl inside to kill the guard. Or the fact that they could just pearl up this death trap, block clutch in this little corner of the roof, pearl in between the hoppers, and then go down this long secret tunnel that's there for some reason that leads you right into the guard's second control room that has all the OP gear and weapons. Or even that you could technically mine in from the top or crawl and mine through the redstone vents from the outside gate, even though it would take a few weeks. But those are all options for people who have a partner or two. And as we all know, I don't have any friends. And as we all know, I don't have anyone to rescue me, so I'm going to have to find a way to do it myself. Now I will be the first to admit, this approach relies a little bit on human error on the guards part. They need to be kinda dumb, but these are Minecraft players we're dealing with here, so don't give them too much credit. Also, it's really easy to escape this if the difficulty is on hard mode, but since in the notes of the map Sven said that the game mode is supposed to be easy, then I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get out without killing myself. This is the prison. If I'm gonna be detained here in the future, I'm gonna need a way out. 
the first thing I'm gonna need to do is find the nether portal hub to the prison. And then, a little bit away, I'm gonna make my own portal. Next, I fill my ender chest with a lot of OP gear, milk, gapples, and weapons. Anything and everything that could be useful if I'm being chased. But at the very least, I'm gonna need a good axe. Then I dug a tunnel under the barrel in the main hub, and made it lead out to the portal. This will be needed because you can't actually escape through the nether portal back to the outside portal without the guard's help, so I had to make my own. Now it's time to go into the prison itself. I'm going to take with me a sign, an ender pearl, and a few cobwebs. When the guard asks me to put my items in the shulker box, I'm not going to actually put anything in. But when I'm over here, I'm going to throw down my sign around this corner so that the guard can't see. Now I'm going to bring the cobwebs and the pearl into the death trap and let him kill me with them in my inventory. My items are now in the chest over here. The guard can look at them, but he most likely won't think too much of them since they're just random items. And he'll probably just leave them there. I can make it even look more inconspicuous by just having random items like saplings and grass in there. And then, once I respawn, I'm going to pick up the sign that I threw around the corner and then go across the lava. If I ever lost my sign or the guard found it, I can just take one of the many scattered across the walls while the guard isn't looking. The point is, I need to smuggle a sign into the cell if I want to escape. Anyways, now the guard is going to lock me in the bedroom and make me sleep. And while he's around the corner flipping the switches, I need to throw the sign either in this corner or in this corner. It makes it impossible for the guard to see, but I need to make sure that I don't accidentally pick it up. Then once I get killed, I'll need to hotkey to my second slot and then pick it up, just to make sure that the guard doesn't see anything. And then, we officially go into the cell. This is the most grueling part of the escape. I'm gonna have to mine a piece of cobblestone for four hours straight. Disclaimer, I didn't actually mine a piece of cobblestone for four hours because I'm lazy. Once this cobblestone breaks, I'm gonna have to be quick. I switch to my slot with the sign and place it on the wall. And that's, all right, that's good. Now this part of the escape process is crucial. I'm gonna have to alert the guards to my presence later, but not right now. If I do, then my escape is over and I will be caught. You may be wondering, didn't you just alert the guards by breaking that block? And actually, no, because you see, I found a flaw in Sven's plans for this prison. The Ender Pearl stasis chambers don't get triggered by you breaking a block. They get triggered when the cobblestone generator replaces a block. But since there's a sign blocking the cobblestone, the piston can't fire and the observer won't get triggered. So the guards have no idea what's happening. Now I can just swim inside this little bedroom, break the bed, and if this was hard mode, then I could just spam jump in here until I starve to death, and then I would spawn outside of the prison. But on normal and easy mode, you can't starve to death. That means that the only way we're gonna get out of here is to get that bed tunnel open. And the only way to get it opened is if a guard does it. So first, I will break the cobblestone under the sign to let the water in, and then I will break the cobblestone from above the sign, alerting the guards to my presence. They will then do the composter glitch to see what I'm doing, and then they'll see that I'm in the bedroom and that my bed is broke. So their only option is to open the tunnel to get to me but that was my plan all along. To fool the ones who think that they are in control, you must use their own strengths against them, mainly in these two ways. Number one, the guard will have to open the bed door, which can only be done by going all the way up here to the second guard control room. And as soon as that door is opened, there's my chance. They used the water to restrain me, now I can use the water to swim out through the tunnel and right past them. If there's one guard in the prison, then it'll be pretty easy. I can practically walk out of the prison. But if there's more, then we can get by them without them having enough time to react. Great, I got the guard to basically open the door and let me out of their own prison. Now I need to do one thing. Run. <laughs> I run by the guards. I can't make any slip-ups here or I'm dead. I flip the lever that turns the inside portal on as I run by. Then I get my items from the chest and place the cobwebs behind me to slow them down. Then I break the glass and pearl to the other side of the lava chasm and go through the portal. This isn't completely over, however. Now we're stuck in the nether, but thankfully we did some preparing beforehand. Now I grab the axe and the milk out of the chest. I could grab more, but the guards might show up soon. Then I escape through the tunnel that I built beforehand and out through my nether portal to the overworld, safe and sound.